start off by saying thank you so much for doing this interview. Not from at all, Kyle. But I know it was a bit of an hassle to get it started, so thanks for being patient. Yeah, no problem at all. That's it's all good. Um, so I guess we'll get started here. So um, I'll start with a pretty simple question. Um, what do you like about WWE or the Indies compared to WWE? Well, I mean, I think uh, the WWE is obviously what do I like about WWE. I love everything about WWE. I mean, that was what you, as a professional wrestler from young age, that's where you want to go. That's everything. You, that's that's what it's all about. Getting there and, and doing that. So there's nothing really not to like about the WWE. Yeah. Um, I like about indie wrestling in comparison is probably just uh, the freedom. The yeah. Freedom to be more creative. Freedom to. Uh, artistically express yourself a little differently all the time if you want to whereas the WWE it's a, it's a little more um, you know you, you're doing what you're told to do but you also have the benefit of doing it at one of the greatest places in the world and the highest platforms in the world you know what I'm saying so yeah. I think both have, yeah, both have their own little little thing going and, but both are interesting in their own way yeah alright yeah I like that that's I understand and I can definitely see what you mean by the Indies having a little bit more freedom and stuff. But um, now, on the topic of Indies, do you have any uh, bookings coming up for any Indie shows? Uh, I've been taking limited bookings as of late because I've just I've been dealing with uh, uh, my son Maverick was sick and I uh, had to go through three different surgeries. He's got a couple more surgeries coming up, so I haven't been taking as many bookings as usual. Right now, I'm on the road to Crestview, Florida, so yeah. I'm um, doing that right now. I'm going to be in New York at the end of the month. And, um, you know, it's pretty much every weekend, but it is, um, I am limited, limiting it now to like once a weekend while I deal with stuff at home. Awesome, yeah. So, um, how is he doing? I know you told me the other day he came out of um, three surgeries, right? Yeah, three surgeries in one shot. I mean, we've been putting it off for a while because of school and all that. And we knew yeah. it was going to be a recovery time afterwards, but. And he's got a few more surgeries still coming up. He's on major surgeries, but to get three done in one day is, is quite a thing. Yeah. And well, yeah. Uh, like, uh, yeah. Best, best wishes to him. He's a strong kid, and um, hopefully he uh, gets through it all. And um, I saw you posted, he's, you said he didn't even cry or anything, so kudos to him. He sounds very tough. Yeah, not a thing. It was actually a really, uh, really cool moment because... When he was done with the surgery, his brother wanted to push him out and, and refused to let us touch the wheelchair. He just wanted to help his brother and push him out. It was a horrible little moment, actually, as, as, as Levi pushed Maverick out of the hospital. Yeah. And, uh, uh, as a father, you can't, you can't ask for more than that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right. Um, now, I guess I would go to... I know there's been like stories about who the bunny actually was, so I'm going to say, who was your favorite bunny when you worked with the bunny gimmick? Um, initially, I mean, it, it changed as to who was actually under the bunny mask, um, but the, the guy who did it predominantly was Justin Gabriel, especially yeah. when it had to do a lot of in-ring action. Otherwise, if it was just outside the ring, it was um, extras that bring in the town would do it, but most of the time, if it was in ring, it was uh, Justin Gabriel. Yeah. And uh, I mean, that is that that did it once. Tyler Breeze did it once as well. So. Uh, oh. Uh, Batman Maddox did it once too. Batman Maddox did it a couple of times too. Nice. All right. That is pretty cool. Um, because I knew I remember all the rumors like, oh, is it Zack Ryder or who it is this time? But that's actually pretty cool. So to know that guys now did the bunny gimmick, and I know uh, like uh, Braun Strowman. Wasn't he a Rosebud? Yeah, he was at one point my general Rosebud, but like he would actually be um, orchestrating all the other Rosebuds. And that's something to say about Braun, because, I mean, you have a guy who knew his, his star was way brighter than that. Yeah. And uh, he did it without any problems. He was a good sport about the whole thing. He took it seriously and, and, and um, did what everyone asked of him. So and now he's who he is now. So yeah. one of the guys who come you might have a role you don't really like right now, but you never know what's yeah. going to happen. I don't think you could have thought, you know? Yeah, that's it. You don't have to do that yeah. or somebody. Kudos to him. And um, wasn't uh, James Ellsworth a rose 
for that one point too? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Pretty sure at one point it was. Um, there was a lot of rosebuds, so I'll be honest with you. And surprisingly, like, there's a lot of a lot of people that are going to make it better at one point because we used to use all the extras when we got in town, which is normally all the, the local talent. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of people did it and yeah. um, have gone on to much more successful things afterwards. Yeah, definitely. Um, all right, so with the um, whole gi- um, gimmick with the partying and um, then... You were on the social outcast with Pete Slater and I think it was Michael, Mc- um, not Michael, um, Curtis Axel, right? Yes. Yeah. And uh, Bo Dallas. Yeah, Bo Dallas. So, okay. um, so with those gimmicks and stuff, what did you prefer to be, a hail or a face? You're fucking up a little bit again? With, between each gimmick, what did you prefer to be, a hail or a face? Uh, are you saying just on the social outcast or in general for myself? In general for yourself. Um, I think like the hardest thing to do is, as a baby face is connect to an audience. Yeah. I think the natural inclination for an audience is to dislike something, especially if it's foreign than you, they automatically dislike it. So initially when I came in as a baby face, I didn't enjoy that at all. Yeah. Um, being, I, I felt like the character was too eccentric and then to get people to automatically like it, that you would rather introduce that appeal and then people slowly gravitate towards it. Yeah. Um, so initially I hated that initial baby face when I felt it was real forced and just unnatural and and um, I think the character could have done a lot more better if it was introduced as a heel at that point. Yeah. Um, so I I've generally worked as a heel the majority of my career, uh, so I, I would say I prefer that it's more natural to me. But since leaving the WWE um, on the Indies, I've worked primarily as a baby face, and for some reason it has worked there. Yeah. And um, it's because um, I was able to play with the character. I wish I'd been able to do an indie run as Adam Rose before doing the WWE run as Adam Rose, because I got a much better feel of the audience now of what. They, what they gravitate towards with regards to a character that's that eccentric. Yeah, definitely. So I think it would, yeah. If that, it would have been a whole thing. Yeah. Um, so, now I'll just go to, um, during your time, is either um, in WWE, WWE or the Indies too, um, who would you say is your favorite to work with? Finished 
business with regards to proving that the character was beyond just an entertainment character. So, I mean, I'd love to get a go against someone like uh, Bobby Roode, for instance. I've never got a, yeah. a, 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 a shot with him. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else. There's so many. Um, yeah. I'd like to get a, I'd love to go up a decent run with Ethan Ambrose. No, I mean, I've got, we had certain chemistry that I never had in different matches. Definitely. There's so much business in my opinion. And there's so much talent coming up now. I'd just love to get a go and run against some of the top guys in the NXT right now just, just, just to get a feel for them because there's so many great talents out there, especially in NXT. You cannot isolate into one. There's just too many right now, especially for me because it's been a couple of years since I've been out there. Definitely, yeah. Too many many different talents I cannot isolate when it's possible to do that but yeah that's yeah definitely it's Bobby Roode the current US champ Dean Ambrose um, hopefully he could come back soon I know you probably know too he's out with uh, I think like a forearm injury or something so to me to me Ambrose is the guy that I mean it's just in my opinion a black guy yeah definitely I agree nobody, with that nobody more unique yeah, there's nobody more natural. There's nobody in my opinion that can just generate the generate whatever he needs to generate. It's just he's a he's a he's a baby face in a, in a bad guy mold, and you, you just don't get stuff like that really anymore. And it's it's just uh, to me, it's just everything wrestling should be the Yeah, definitely, I agree with that. Especially coming off the show, making a name for himself as a singles competitor, his whole rivalry with Seth Rollins. I definitely agree with that. Um, so. That's really all the questions I had, so now I would like to just say thank you for doing the interview. It means a lot to my YouTube channel, and definitely um, just thank you for doing this. All the best to the YouTube channel. I that's really well, and uh, you're, you're really good at this, so keep, it, keep on doing it. Thank you, and um, just before we go, um, can you, would you mind doing my um, YouTube outro for the channel? But what is it? Um, just say, remember guys, it's YouTube, stay drama free. Say that again? Remember guys, it's YouTube, stay drama free. Stay drama free? Yep. Alright, I'll do that. You want me to do it in like 3, 2, 1? Yep, 3, 2, 1. This is Adam Rose, and remember it's YouTube, stay drama free.